So it's uh, October 15th, 2022. I'm still in Alberta. This is Darcy's Corner. I don't make these as often as I used to anymore. It was very convenient with my phone that I'm using right now as a recording device. My other phone um, doesn't have the memory capacity and sometimes there's sound issues uh, where like six minutes into the thing the sound cuts out and the next four minutes are recorded but it's total silence which I guess is probably better for some people but uh, if you're putting up a YouTube video and half of it is you know silence I mean nobody watches past the first two minutes anyway mostly uh, which is generous of you thank you but anyway so I don't have recording capabilities for more than a couple minutes at a time sometimes I just get a a thought and I want to share it or put it out there I went to the, the bar last night to a comedy thing and it was entertaining it was family friendly it wasn't it didn't impress me as a hypnosis show but uh, you know it's easy to criticize it's hard to get up and do so uh, I learned a lot from it having fun with it and going hmm you can just be like mildly entertaining and people will enjoy that a number of people wanted me to participate because they wanted me to participate they, they got a kick out of watching me do stupid things and I didn't do anything too stupid I was a little too aware of what was going on but I had fun anyway so that was important it's good to have community it's good to have people in your life who they're just happy you showed up once in a while they say hi they know your name and they treat you with kindness everybody should have community um, I get that from my my church group quite well I think there's a potluck this Sunday I should bring something <laughs> anyway community is important and living your life is important and you can't just wait for things to happen you have to go and do something so if you want to form a community if you want to develop friendships and whatever you have to get off your butt out of your physical home and go somewhere I know it's COVID and Zoom and all that stuff uh, I do recommend you get vaccinated. That will help a lot. It's not perfect. And, you know, you are taking your chances, but we, we are social creatures. And you get lost inside your own world sometimes. And especially if you're part of the trans community, that world can be very dark and very lonely. And mine is sometimes. But it's not so much anymore. And, you know, since I started going to Cheers, that's not really the name of the place I go. But uh, that's why I've nicknamed it Cheers. And I realized I was Norm for one day. And so I told everybody there, okay, so that makes you Rebecca and you're Sam. And, oh, there's Carla. And she almost threw a drink in a guy's face when I said that. So it was pretty ironic, actually. I'm like, yeah, no, that's Carla. Anyway. The point is that you need balance in your life so it can't be all work and it can't be all trans and it can't be all going to the bar <laughs> that gets expensive it's expensive for me and I don't even drink uh, but I'm not complaining it's 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 worth uh, the investment in my sanity it's nice to be part of the world again And you don't know what your crowd is. And you don't know who you are. And, you know, it's sometimes it's nice to be 14 again. Which is what I like about this particular establishment I go hang out at most of the time. Is like, well, if I had a basement, clearly I don't. This is my apartment. Isn't it wonderful? If I had a basement, that's pretty much what it would look like. 
there'd be video games and nostalgia on the wall and just a place you could chill. So I can do that there. I just have to pay, you know, restaurant prices for a pop, which is, you know, it's a bit much, but they got to keep the lights on. So it's a fair exchange, I think. Anyway, it's more of a Darcy's Ramble. You can get through this. You can get past this. I talked to a, a trans lady last night. And she was trying to be very helpful and very encouraging to teach me the ways of the trans. Which is funny because I've been transitioning for three years now. And I don't want to ever to, uh, turn down anybody who's trying to be helpful. But I'm like, there's, I could teach you things you don't know <laughs> about non-binary and how that works. And it's not one size fits all. <laughs> and you could use these medications instead of those medications and you'll get different results. But, you know... <laughs> I wasn't there to educate her. She felt it was her role there to educate me. And so I just let her educate me on what she thought was the correct way to do it and the correct course of action. I keep noticing the, the light in the background. Yeah, I should probably like pluck that out with my big massive head. That's better. <laughs> doesn't blind you. Anyway, people just want to help. And when they want to help, you should let them, as much as you can, indulge their help, even if you don't need it, even if you know what they're saying, mostly. Because, you know, treat, treat everyone with kindness and just assume that they want to do the same with you. That's the world I want to live in anyway. But I was having a bit of difficulty, like, turning off the conversation with this person because they just didn't, it didn't occur to them that I might have a life beyond just discussing how their uncle treated them or how their employer still misgenders them. Like, yeah, that sucks. Uh <sighs> She was a very interesting character. You know, I meet a lot of um, people who are experiencing this journey. And it is actually interesting, the number I've met who have some sort of a mental capacity issue. And I don't mean that to be negative or derogatory. Um, and I know you could say that's the you know, proverbial pot calling the kettle black, like, clearly I have a neurological something. And I must. I understand that I do. But, talking with these people, and just like, I'm reminded of when I was in high school, and I was the loner. And the reason I was the loner, I understood the nerds. I could speak the nerd language. I could play the nerd games. I could think the nerd thoughts. But I thought they were nerds, too. And I'm like, well, I don't mind visiting this stuff once in a while. I just don't want to live here. Whereas they're, for them, like, that's like life, right? You don't know the life expectancy of, I don't know, Batman, the Joker. Pick a freaking nerd thing that they, like, nerd out on. Um... Anyway, I just can't live there, is what I'm saying. I'm like, I'm I'm among you, but I'm not really one of you. <laughs> I love you. I think you're amazing. I just, I can't do that. And that's kind of what I felt with this person. I'm like, oh, you're a little bit neurodivergent, and you're definitely a lot trans, and you made it so much farther than I did in terms of progress. 
uh, her voice was amazing. Her, her hair looked great. Um, she, I mean, she pretty well passes. Huh. Um, so, you can learn something from somebody who's been where you're trying to go. But at the same point in time, all the things that she was telling me or trying to teach me, I'm like, oh, there's... I guess that should be reaffirming that I already knew everything she was talking about pretty much. <laughs> oh, I didn't know the hot spots in Edmonton to go to get a hookup if I want one. So, I mean, that was a useful tip, I suppose. According to her, I wasn't dressed up enough last night. I thought I was pretty dressed up last night because I don't usually do the full makeup, but I did last night. But I'm still not very skillful at it. That's okay. That'll come in time. The point is, according to her, I wasn't hot enough last night. <laughs> Which I thought was funny. I was like, well, I wasn't really trying to pick you up or nothing, so it's okay if you don't think I'm hot enough. <laughs> yeah, but I appreciate the beauty tips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I found the whole thing to be very entertaining. It's like, well, it's like I'm in my own reality show, but it's not a show, it's reality. I was talking to the bartender last night about something, we were joking about different things. And she says, no, no, uh, Alex in real life is mean. I'm like, no, Alex, this is real life. <laughs> this is you right now living it. <laughs> By the way, Alex is awesome. I love going to Cheers, you know. I know all the staff. I know most of the patrons or a lot of the, like, people that stand out. Now I'm one of the people that stand out. They'll come by next day and say, or next week, well, dude, weren't you wearing that beautiful dress last week? Oh, it was great. Yeah, you look wonderful. Now I know I look like a sack of hammers in a dress, but still, <laughs> it, it, it is ad adorable that people like recognize me and it's all positive. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't been happy <laughs> in life. In a long time. And uh, I might get emotional talking about it, but I'm just, I'm enjoying it again. You don't know when these moments are going to happen in life, so when they do, just enjoy them. It might only be for a month, maybe two. Maybe I've run off the happiness train here now. <sighs> None of us is guaranteed tomorrow. So. Live your best life today. Do that every day. Darcy's Corner. Peace.